Welcome to Breaking Down the Game. I'm Tyron Johnson, 10 year pro, currently playing in France. With Breaking Down the Game, I wanted to break down the game of basketball through film study and tips and drills that you can use to help improve your game. So sit back, pay attention, hope you learn something so you can go out there and make them pay. Let's get it. Trey Young has taken the NBA by storm. He's been in the NBA for two years and has been a problem for both years. He's the definition of what I call a quality draft pick. Most of these guys are bust. Trey is showing you how a lottery pick is supposed to look. Let's get straight to the breakdown. Trey is a great example of the new generation of players. I hope it doesn't last long and I hope most players understand that they won't be successful at it. Trey is either shooting deep threes or he's finishing at the rim with either a floater or a layup. His favorite move is any type of snatch back for a three, whether it's a cross or what I think is his favorite, the tween step back slash side step. You have to guard him as soon as he crosses half court. Look at how high Dre has to pick him up. He still end up shooting the three from the logo. Having to guard him so high sets up his penetration. Look how high these guys are. They're so afraid of him shooting a quick three, they have to approach him quickly. As they're approaching, he's showing shot with the hezzy, then he's blowing by them. Trey is most dangerous off the dribble. He's a skipper. The skips are all ways to work his hesitation. His hesitation is so deadly because he can be a threat to drive, shoot, or pass. Let's look at when he shoots the three off the hesitation. You can see this play Iguodala has to pick Trey up early because he can shoot soon as he crosses half. Trey receives a screen in which the screener slips, so he gives the illusion with the hezzy that he's about to receive a screen. Okay, Iguodala feels the screener and has slipped, so in his brain he thinks Trey is about to attack. But Trey has the ball in the air, so we don't know what to expect. Trey lures him to sleep, then hit him with a cross for a quick three. The key to Trey's attack are his change of speed and change of direction. Trey comes to full stops. He comes to semi-stops. Look at this play when he brings the ball casually, quick stop, then goes into another speed, attacking the rim. This is just ridiculous. He's going from low to high, quick to slow, and still have balance to shoot a three. Here's another clip. If you're big, forget about it. Trey is not super athletic, so he has to be very crafty. One thing he utilized very well is the use of his off arm. He's always searching to get an advantage with his off arm. Look at this play against my little bro Af Alfred. He comes up and starts the combat early. Already he's taking control of the situation. Big stays low, Alfred is trailing. Trey makes sure it remains that way. Look at that off arm. One more play. Look at what he does to Taj Gibson. I mean, Gibson just quit. Trey's ability to read the game is very amazing. Pay attention to how his head is always on a swivel. Look at this play. He's surveying the opposite side. He comes off the pick, checks his big, realize the defense is covering so he attacks. Then he gives a look at the guy that's defending him. He sees right behind him so he can't pull up, but he could get up his floater. That's amazing.
Back to the play against Alfred. Look at how he's checking to see where he's at. When Trey is looking to score off the pick, it's dangerous. He's such a great passer, you have to respect it. When it comes to scoring off the pick, he's very creative. That middle pick is dangerous for him. He comes off and if you go under or if the big stay back, you might as well, you might as well count it. You shouldn't even think about going underneath the screen. If the defender stays close, but the big covers, he usually get into his sweet spot for his floater. He rejects many screens to get into his snatch shot. Trey shoots his jumper from a very low position. This helped him get off the jumper quicker. With his size and quickness, this makes him very lethal. You have to respect the drive, pass, and shot. His offhand is perfect. His follow through is perfect. One of the prettiest jumpers I've ever seen. He can catch and shoot. Once he receives the ball, he's getting the shot up quick. His feet are very active when he catches and shoots. His range is unlimited. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, to be able to shoot this deep off a tween step back, that's next level, bro. Trey is an elite finisher. He has a variety of floaters and layups in his package. Being so small, he had to master his touch around the rim. His float game is elite. He can use the floater off one or two feet. He can make it with either hand. He can also use either feet. On his floater, he doesn't really snap his wrist. He just push it with a soft touch. He has a tendency to create contact when he drive into the lane. Looking for the quick bump, then getting up a quick layup. Being so small, he has to get the ball up high on his finishes. He also has to get real creative. He does this with a bunch of fake passes. Trey's skill level is super high. He has that ball on a string. Anytime you're nutmegging NBA players, that means you have some control of the ball. Back to him just surveying the court. He's in full control while he's dribbling and not much bother him. That's my take on Trey's game, man. I love Trey's game. I think his future is bright. Would love to see some good pieces around him. But studying his game for like the last two weeks, I've never said wow so much watching film. It's like every time I watched him, I said wow. I said oh my God. It's like I've watched LeBron's, I've watched the Kevin Durant's, I've even watched the Kyrie's, the guys that make those type of plays. But with Trey, I just say, wow. Now, I'm not saying he's better than any of those guys. I'm just saying he makes me say, wow, all the time. <laughs> he's a very exciting player. I love him. Hope nothing but the best for him and his future. But besides that, man, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Like I always say, Use these videos to help with your game, help with imitating. 
check out what the stars are doing so that you can start implementing that in your game so that you can be better. If you want to get better, you want to start working on your game, go to tyronjohnson.com slash training, check out my make them pay scoring system or my make them pay ball handling program and get in the gym so that you can start getting better. If you want some motivation, if you want some advice from Big Bro, you can check out my podcast at tyronjohnson.com slash podcast, or you can check it out on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, make them pay.